this video we will learn how to create and use service in angular application services plays a very important role in the angular application almost in all the applications we use the services here we are using the same bookstore application and it is running on the browser with this url okay if i click on the whole books then i want to display some books information here component will display the data in the ui this is the role of the component but where we will get the data we can get the data from the service now let's create a new service in our application open a terminal window to create our service type this command ng g s you can type entire word service also but here i am using s only remember we used c for component and m for module similarly we are using s for service if you want to create the service inside the specific folder then we need to define the path here i want to create this service inside the books module here we can use more than one service for that we need to create services folder inside this books folder so the path will be books and then services then service name will be book then press enter this command will create new book service inside the services folder this services folder is available inside this books folder see here we are having new folder expand this inside the services folder we have two files this book service and this spec file this is for unit testing as of now we will not use this let's open this book service here um, we are having class book service is the class name and we are having the constructor we have the export keyword it means we can use this service in other place using import functionality let's see what will happen if i remove this code from here and save the changes go to the browser then choose inspect in the console window there is no error that means um, there is nothing special in this class if i am using this now let's remove this uh, provided in property from here and save the changes so there is nothing happening okay now we are having a uh, one injectable decorator in the service it means we are making it injectable injectable concept in anglo is known as service by default um, in anglo this service uh, works in dependency injection mode using this injectable keyword we are telling the application that we have the service use this service in the dependency injection mode now um, let's create a simple method in this service let's use uh, public and method name uh, let's say get books and then return type void in this method i want to return uh, some books data for that we need a model i want to create a model folder inside this books folder so right click on books folder choose new folder here folder name will be models inside this models folder i want to create a single file so right click on models folder then choose new file here file name will be book.model.ts let's open this here we can write export interface and then model name will be let's say book model here let's add few properties here id type number then title string and then total pages type number then author type will be string then price for price i want to create a um, price model so right click on models folder choose new file price.model.ts okay here we can write export interface and then model name will be price model here 
let's add two properties uh, first one is currency type will be string and then value number and save the changes copy this price model and go to book model paste it here okay now we have to import this model we can do this in two ways either you can write it manually or over the mouse on this name here we have two options view problem and second one is quick fix you can also use the shortcut control plus dot um, now click this quick fix add import from okay now copy this book model and save the changes go back to book service here I want to return book model so replace this void with book model let's use array uh, because uh, we can have more than one book data so we are using the array here let's import this model here I want to return some outcoded data already I have returned some outcoded data in JSON format okay let's copy this here let's use the return keyword and paste the data which we copied from notepad and right click choose format document here we are having four uh, books data we are having id title total pages author and price okay now save the changes now we have to use this service in our component so let's uh, open all books component so here let's create a variable public books type will be book model then let's as an empty variable sorry empty array now we have to get the data uh, from the book service So copy this name um, in the constructor let's create a new instance variable so var book service new book service add the necessary inputs Okay, to assign the data, we can write this dot books equal book service dot. We have to call get books method. We have created this get books method in the book service. Okay, now it will work, uh, but there is some problem in this approach. We are using a new keyword but we are not using dependency injection so what will happen if you are going to use this service in the other component then the application uh, will create the new instance every time when this component is used for that i want to use dependency injection angular provides built-in support for dependency injection in this approach we do not need this code so let's remove it from here we can simply inject the service in the constructor so here write public book service here we can use this book service that's it no need to use the new keyword to create the instance of the book service instance of this book service is available um, in this book service variable this ng on init method is a built in method. It is used while this component is initialized. Now, I want to get the data from this book service and I want to assign it to this books variable. So, here we can write this dot books equal to this dot book service. 
here we can call that method get books that's it for testing purpose um, let's use console here log here we will use this books variable save the changes um, let's see in the browser now click this all books um, see here we are getting an error the error is um, null injection error no provider for book service it means we have created the book service this application does not know where we can use this service so we can do this in many ways first way is we can use the provider array uh, in the component file here i am using this uh, book service in all books component okay here below this style url we have to use providers array and save the changes let's see in the browser see here there is no error if i click on this all books and in the console window we are having uh, four books data using this providers array we have defined this uh, book service only for this component if i am using this uh, same service in other component then i will get the same error if i use the provider in the other component then there will be multiple instances of this book service if you want to use this uh, service specific to particular component then you can use this approach if you want to use multiple services then put comma here then you can use multiple services here okay let's assume i want to use this book service in module level so let's remove it from here and save the changes let's open this books module file here below the imports array put comma and paste it add the necessary imports and save the changes let's see in the browser click this all books page here we are getting the data it is working fine uh, this is the second approach in most of the scenario we will use the service in two ways uh, first one is we will use it in the module level and second is we will use it in the entire application level for the entire application level either uh, we can use it um, in the app module or we can use it in the shared module now we can use one more approach also in the book service remember uh, we have some code uh, in this injectable decorator that we removed in the earlier video okay the code is provided in and then root and save the changes if you are defining this line here it means we have defined this service for the entire application then no need to define it um, in the books module so let's remove it from here and save the changes let's see in the browser click on the all books see here we have the entire data these are the different ways to use this service in angular application we will learn more ways in our upcoming videos um, i hope uh, this video is helpful to you thanks for watching this see you there in next video